بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم We greet you with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from my sitting room here in my home in the Caribbean island of Trinidad and uh, our topic is that we're returning once more to the Great War events are unfolding rapidly in Russia and in Ukraine that you're all aware of and so the those who are saying that this stuff, topic, of, topic of Great War is nonsense, there'll be no Great War, they're now receding in the background because everybody is warning now that there is the likelihood of nuclear war. The President of the United States has done it. The, the President of Russia has warned about it. The Pope has warned about it. The Secretary General of the United Nations have done about it. And so many others have been warning, yes, we are on the doorstep of a great war. And our Prophet has prophesied it, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The Malhamah, he called it. Now then, I have spoken on this subject again and again, but I want to bring it into a capsule today. What is the first step we must take to prepare for nuclear war? The first thing that you have to do as a believer in the one God, a believer in the one God, to prepare for nuclear war is to banish the fear of death from your heart. If you have faith in your heart, then you will not have the fear of death in your heart. If you are afraid to die and you're searching for a place where you could hide in a nuclear war, you don't have faith in your heart, my brother. You don't have faith in your heart, my sister. So that's my first advice. The second way to prepare as people who follow Prophet Muhammad the Christian will give you a different answer, the Hindu, the Buddhist. I'm talking for those who are Muslims. The second step in preparation for the Great War is to seek protection from the Quran. This Western world is a godless world. It's a godless world. They don't believe in a hereafter. The third preparation for the Great War is you better find the good guide to guide you. There are bogus scholars out there, bogus, who use, who gives you a version of Islam that the Western world doesn't feel any threat at all. But if you follow the version of Islam that comes from someone who follows Khidr alayhi salam, Someone who turns to the Quran to guide and to guide and to teach the people the reality of the world today. The Western world will hate you and despise you. But the fourth one, preparation for the Great War, is you must stock up on blankets, on warm clothing, on food which is non-perishable like sand food, stock up on water, stock up on firewood. I am stocking up on firewood. Stock up on lighters to light a fire. Uh, I have spoken a lot about this. And you will be able to get more security in the remote countryside than in the city where there will be anarchy when there is no electricity, there is no running water, there is no supply of food. People will be fighting each other doggy dog in the cities and breaking down your home, your doors of your home if they suspect you have food. So get out of the cities, please, and go to the remote countryside, as I am myself doing. That's why I'm building that small home. It's just a hundred yards away from the beach. Lo the remote countryside of Trinidad, and I can get fish to eat. Now then, the last uh, thing I want to say, who are those <laughs> who are most vulnerable? And the answer, it's women and children who have no husband, no father, no man around them to protect them. If any 
event takes place that causes panic. Every single man who is present must now become the protector of every woman who is present. No man must seek to escape. No. If we have to die, we die. But we must protect our women and children who are present. That is the way of Islam. So, if you are able to bring these women together and provide them with some security and provide them with a means whereby they have food to eat, they have clothing, and they live together to keep the company each other, these women will be safe from that zina out there. Think about our sisters. Think about the sexual predatory who is going to attack them when the Great War takes place. They'll be vulnerable. Think about their vulnerability, our sisters and their children, and act now before the Great War takes place if Allah gives you the means to protect our sisters. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.